You like making stuff? <laughs> oh, I love stuff. Yeah, love making things. Where does that come from? Uh, dad. Okay. Probably. Well, I don't know. I think, like, from a young age, I've always just wanted, like, Lego and stuff. Yeah. And I always want to, like, see if, like, there's something to do with the house, like, DIY stuff. I'm like, let me do it. Unreal. Though my dad tries to get into the way of, like, helping and doing all that. So the horse box and stuff, I like to do like design things and like think in my head and go well this could be working like here and but I guess that probably comes in like loads of things what was his profession what does he do he's an engineer so nice. they have a, a business so like whenever you were like a young child he was like getting you to play with engineering stuff oh my what? goodness honestly right see so mom and dad are both in the family business my granny's yes it's my granny's business um, rotation molding all this shout out shout out <laughs> part of my <Manoa> tags <laughs> <laughs> based in Moira <laughs> 42 years going come on that's great Good I know me. Granny wow. yeah Granny started that how old's Granny is she still living she's, no she actually passed away on the 17th of August there so sadly that's 96 years old 96 96 what and still hero. see even to the two weeks before she probably died I was in the home and she was being like so what were the sales like tonight What? how many girls you got working what's your venues what's all this here she always so business driven so Mad. she was just like that one there where does that come from for her her mum and her... Like, well, the and matriarchy her, is like, strong here. This is the thing. Like, they always worked. Females are very powerful in their family. Yeah. And then my mum's... So my mum and dad are in the business. Dad's engineer. We were always in the business. We were always around, like... I remember... Actually, see, whenever you speak to everyone that's in the business still now to this day, they're, like, been there... Oh God, I'm 29 years old. Who are 20... Been there 29 years. They say they remember changing my nappy. Love like... What? That's like, you've seen me going up through the years. Definitely. I have not left that business. Wow. So I've been around where they're making things. My dad's constantly thinking of like how to make things better, more like sustainable and everything like that there. So he's always been doing that there, like the whiteboards on the, like in the rooms and the like offices and everything. And I always just know that. So that's where that all probably comes from. And so when you were growing up, if there was like DIY stuff at home, would he have included you in that? Or would oh, you yeah. have like stuck your nose in and be like, oh, how does this work? Da, da, da. Yeah, always asking questions. Unreal. I'm always wanting to know like how things are made mm. and why they're made or why things are doing this. You know, that mm. was annoying kid. I'd probably be like, how's this done? Why do you do this? Why do you do this? Like he made our swings at home. Hero. Like things like that there that they make and you're like, oh, how do you do that? Yeah. That's why he's just very good. Because we shed in the background, in the back and everything. Oh. I know. Uh, very hands on which is definitely portrayed into myself. Unreal. Sounds good. Welcome back to Meet the Members, podcast series where we're getting to know the interesting and lovely and fascinating and innovative and matriarchal <laughs> people who call Ormo Bass their business home. So we're here today with Rebecca Coy. She runs fabulous business called Brand Connect, which we'll get into. And this is a series just basically for us to get to know the members. And so tell me about your horse box. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Smooth transition. Oh, smooth transition. <laughs> oh my goodness. I honestly still look at this horse box and go, what am I going to do with you? So obviously COVID kind of happened. So I started Brand Connect 2019 um, for the pandemic. And, and Brand Connect is? Brand Connect is a service for the hospitality industry. We provide staff to sell shots and promote alcohol. Also provide front of house, PR, anything we do with the hospitality sector. So I have a club. What does Brand Connect do for me? Oh, I'm going to make you money. Um, <laughs> Great. I'm going to go in. I'm going to provide staff to uh-huh. go in and upsell alcohol on your floor. So floor, face-to-face floor sales promotion. So it's pretty. Awesome. It's good. So it's the horse box. Revenue. Yes. So COVID obviously happened. We were all told we could only sit outside and eat. And that's how we could sell alcohol. And this is the only way. Like the hospitality industry, we were like boom around left right and centre what we could do and what we couldn't do so I was like how am I going to get this we have lost the nightclubs how am I going to still operate as Brand Connect how are we still going to do this how are we going to make keep our venues being the clients and again how are we going to keep our clients as in the staff happy Mm. how am I going to give them work they're probably lost their jobs and other things so my sister's boyfriend was buying horse boxes left right and (laughs) centre because they're into horses so I thought ooh he brought one home and I was like don't sell it I was like I want it it was like a rice one. It was great. It was lovely. And I was like, I need to What the heck it. is a rice one? Oh, see, I'm I'm not really like first. Like, right, okay. Really smart in these here ones. Yeah, but yeah. it's a very like. Is rice like the hunter boots of horse Yeah, boxes? I would say it is quite okay, like that. Yeah. It's, There's a new campaign it's for them. Lovely. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like, no, it was green whenever I bought it. And it was not great. But I brought it down to the factory. 
hard open manufacturing. As per, again. Yeah, um, uh, Lincoln Bio. I brought down there and I said, I really want this project. I want to work on this. I'm going to make it in. I'm going to put boxes and all this here, benches here, a wee door here, and we're going to sell out of that. And that's where we're going to be then. Bring it around, put a uh, tow bar in the back of my car. Mm. I'm going to bring this around all the venues, put it into the beer gardens, and that's where we're going to sell the shots from. Nice. And it worked. And now it needs to be turned into something else. But that's another project that we're not going to even discuss yet. Good. Stay on message. I appreciate that. Yeah, I like that yeah. a lot. We can discuss again. The other one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come back next time whenever the horse box evolves into whatever it is next. Okay, so you were taking the horse box and it was like a portable shot, like an ice cream van only for shots. We called it Shots on the Trot. Of course you did. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Shots on the Trot. Do you get it? I get it a lot. I mean, some people will take some other things from it. But... Crazy. So interior design uh-huh. to shots on the trot. Uh, Fill that gap in. Oh gosh. So do we want to start back to like, <coughs> let's say after university, wanted to follow my dad's and mum's footsteps, went to Liverpool, did prog design engineering. Thought this is not for me. There's too much maths in this. I could barely count all this physics. Like I just kind of thought it was, you know, building things and just solving problems. And then I came back to Belfast, like, okay, interior design. I love cruise ships, like, love cruise mm. ships. So I wanted to go into marine interior. So I went to work in my van on my placement year, if anyone knows in Antrim. Um, worked there for a year. And I see, the thing is, it's, it's quite male dominated. And with that there, they don't bring you on. So you're doing, sorry, you're doing the projects in the actual, like, workplace in the office. And you're not getting to go see the projects on the actual, like, site. And that does not suit me. Like, I need to be hands-on. Yeah. So I just thought, no, it's not ready for me. Went to Ibiza. Done a, done a year. <laughs> or done a season there. And what, like, hospo? Like, oh, tourism? Oh, selling shots. And, right. Yep, living my best life, drinking every night. Oh, goodness. That was brutal. It was awful. Yeah, no, not... <laughs> Got a great tan. I made loads of friends. And then came back and was like, okay, this is what I need to do. So I brought it to Belfast. And then, yeah, that's where I probably... Got to the shots of the trot. Got to the Brad Connect. Unreal. And what was it about your time in Ibiza that you like? You came home with the conviction, like I have to start this. I think working for yourself in terms of like you're in charge of what money you're earning. Like I don't, I don't like being told what to do. Good. I'm quite. I'm I the bet your granny person. didn't either. <laughs> no, uh, my mum doesn't. <laughs> so it all comes down. Toss. So yeah. So we. I really don't like being told what to do, and I don't. I want to be in control of what I'm earning. Mm-hmm. So I know that if I have to meet my bills in the next week, I need to absolutely get out there and sell, sell, sell. But if you're constrained to this one kind of paycheck as such, that doesn't suit me because I want to be everywhere and everything and doing mm-hmm. things like I have shopping addictions, as everyone knows, and holiday addictions. And <laughs> good addictions to have. Do you like the the? Fire kind of under your feet. Yes. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Yep. I see whenever it comes like stressful, as much as I'm like, oh my God, I'm so stressed. I love it. Like I, the excitement, like the building up of like what you're going to do. Like, Freshers was there. It's like, oh, this is exciting. Yeah. I love the prospect of that. It's Halloween in three weeks time. Then November's okay. Then we've got December. I love that. Like mm. the excitement of what we're going to do, trying to solve problems staying positive and doing all those kind of things. So that's, yeah. yeah Did you ever fall into patterns of like creating quasi fake crises just to give you that <laughs> little bit of a buzz? Because Gary Lightbody's got a great line. It's like, <laughs> it's like we need more time, but there's a part of me that loves it when we rush. And it's, it's that kind of just like, you know, we all want to live this like super zen lifestyle, but like there's that part of it's like, oh, I want a wee bit of, wee bit of spice here. Do you know what I mean? Well, yeah, but I think this kind of comes back to obviously bring back to COVID. I had to go through a lot of like therapy because I actually couldn't sit still. Yeah. And I was like, why can't I work? Why is this still doing this here? And going back to then granny, that all stems from that there. So I do love the, the fire in the belly constantly being busy. And I think though coming out of COVID has actually taught me to maybe slow down a wee bit, mm-hmm. but you can still do. I was doing seven days a week, n- nonstop, like leaving friends and doing all that there. Yeah. Whereas I can do Monday to Friday. I'm quite strict on that now. Fire in the belly. Let's get going all this mm-hmm. here. And the weekend is my time to relax. Nice. Whereas I never had that before. Really cool. So that was probably where that, yeah, 
I, I agree. I love it. I chase, I chase things. Yeah. What does downtime look like for you? Oof. Cross it. <laughs> Which probably isn't actually downtime because that's your type A's are mental. It's, more stress on the <laughs> it's body. like it's like, so what do you need to relax? <laughs> I run ultra marathons. I find it very cleansing for the soul. It's like it's all right. <laughs> no, I just love social. I am social butterfly in um, boundary. I am the soul and social committee. I organize all the nights out. Um so we do and then try and do like sea swims and stuff obviously mm-hmm. as well. We yeah, we talked about the ice baths and stuff like that there. So sea swimming, CrossFit brunching with friends oh. going for walks reading I love reading what do you like to read oh I'm so I read three books at a time okay and usually, is it all different genres or is it kind mm, of just whatever's whatever's usually a self-help one fancy? okay so I kind of say I'm on two at the minute actually so we've got Stephen Bartlett's new one nice 33 laws of business and life I guess that probably comes with business and self-help yep and then we're reading another one called Closer to Love by Vex King it's how I would attract the right kind of relationships. Love it. Um, whether it be friendships and romantic relationships. So usually I'll try to do some sort of love one. Yeah. A self-help book one. Yeah. And a business one. Love it. So we're only on two at the minute, but usually three. But, yeah. Well, big ass because you're two bird, one stone and with the Bartlett Oh, book. yeah. The Bartlett one's good. Is it worth it? Yeah. It is good. Okay, it's cool. a bit heavy in terms like I think you need to read it, break it up, do your notes. I take notes. I highlight them. Nice. I mark them all. Pa- I don't let paper? it out. Oh, yeah. yeah. Don't lend books out. Don't like it. Because I write all over them. Mm. And then people, people will read your, your journal. <laughs> I can relate to that. Yeah. I can relate to that. You should look at this. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they're like, it's like when you have vision boards all over your house and people come in, they're like, look at that. I'm like, no, honestly, I'm just going to turn this around. <laughs> 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 I don't want people to see my vulnerable side. It's like the entrepreneurial version of having your dirty laundry hung up. Yeah. yeah. No, it you is. Feel exposed. I do three vision yeah. boards. One for obviously myself, mm-hmm. one for Brand Connect, and then one for Sales Bitter, which is another bit on the side. You guys love a wee bit on the side. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you're literally, we're in here. <laughs> I feel like if you don't have something on the side as a startup, you yeah, cannot yeah. join or, or last. <laughs> when, I, when I first joined here, there was a guy called Peter Edgar, and he mm-hmm. asked me a question, and I just went, Oh, these guys are, diff- are built different. <laughs> he went, uh, So, like, what's your five to nine? What, well, like after here? Is it the thing you do after work? And I was like, bro, these guys are different. Why? Why? What was he said he does? Like just... Just a side hustle? Like just something, no. anything that we bit on the side? I just try to split the days up. Okay, so yeah. So do like Monday, Tuesday, BC. I like that. Wednesday, seal splitter. Thursday, Friday, BC. Love it. Weekend, me. That like kind of rhymed <laughs> in a very cool <laughs> M&M type way. After three, you won't see me in here after three. Really? Yeah, I don't do it. We better get going then. I know. Uh, I know what I is say. the reason you keep coming back to Ormo Bass? Why have you not cancelled mm. your membership yet? People. I think more accountability as well. Like, and just everyone just around. It's just so lovely. Like, obviously LP. Uh, Shout great out. friendship that we have there. And we hate each other. Um, Chris is great. Like, Claire. Big Claire, we Claire. Amazing. And they just check in on you all the time, which is just so nice. So, yeah. And you're great too. Fuck, thank you. <laughs> and you need to go to this one about Daniel, or he's yeah, gonna, yeah. Like, he will have your he will have words with you afterwards. <laughs> I'll buy you coffee. <laughs> Final question, Rebecca. Uh-huh. If you could go back in time, Ooh. in a time machine. I don't know why I emphasized that bit because it was kind of self-explanatory. Eighteen-year-old mm-hmm. version of yourself. You had a couple of minutes of her time. What sort of things are you saying? Oh, to keep going. Mm. Be proud. And just do what you do what you want to do. Um, don't listen to what everyone else is telling you to do. Because always knew I want to move in business. So, and here we are. Here we are. Here we are. Awesome. Thank you so much for listening or watching. If you'd like to find out some more stories and meet some of our other members here in Normal Bass, of the people who call this beautiful, beautiful place their business home, you can do so on the website or the YouTube page. And if you want to come and be a part of this, if you want to... Uh, get a desk here or bring your team here you can uh, give us a call or shoot us an email to set up a free tour we'd love to show you around the place and show how Ormo Bass can be the perfect home for your business too so Rebecca thank you so much for your thank time you. Daniel, appreciate it. thank you for producing as always <laughs> cheers thank you